So welcome to the vlog. So something that I've been thinking about uh, looking back on all of the filming I've done ever since I picked up this weird hobby is that I'm most comfortable filming on a tripod and even when I have my camera handheld most of the time what I try to do is just try to stay as still as I can and try to mimic the tripod shot. I'm thinking maybe I should try to explore what I can do with more interesting handheld techniques as well because you know if you're holding the camera in your hand what you can do is you can move it around, pan it around get more dynamic kinds of footages right but also of course the risk is that you may end up with extremely jittery shaky footage that would just completely trigger me I guess part of the point of this vlog is to be experimental I think this week I may try to include a bit more handheld dynamic moving footages and then I don't know if I'll regret this at the end of the week when I'm trying to edit them together but that's at least something that we can look into doing this week. No, folks, I don't think this handheld thing is going very well. I have this sneaking suspicion that I will look over my footage this weekend when I'm editing and I'll be just aghast at how terrible everything looks. We'll cross our fingers and look for the best. Mm. Adventure Archives is this new video where Robbie goes you know, into the woods and you know, did some hiking and camping and it just dawned on me that the probability of me being able to go camping anytime in the next half a year or so at least is approximately zero and i'm pretty bummed out by that oh man look at that face that is a face of someone who knows he's got it good man I don't really feel like doing it anymore right now but I told myself that I would this afternoon so I used to do this thing called Krav Maga uh, not too long ago for a brief but I would say very fulfilling time one of my old instructors posted this thing on Instagram basically a exercise circuit routine I guess you could say so when I saw this in the afternoon I was like it filled me with a sense of nostalgia and I thought to myself that man I gotta go and do this right for old times sake fast forward to now though um, I don't feel like doing anything anymore but I told myself that I would do it so it's gonna happen
Okay, just like I expected, I can't do this anymore. I even cheated a bit, you know? You know, I used having to move the camera around and everything as an excuse to take breaks in between each, you know, routine. Uh, my arm strength is completely gone. Maybe I should do this more often. I will never feel like doing it though, so it will be up to my willpower and my discipline to make myself do it. Not optimistic. <laughs> So another thing that's going on is that a new hiking video is due quite soon so I've been starting some work on it and the thing about this video is that it's kind of a new beginning of sorts because it's the first hiking video that I've shot using this camera this camera I kind of want it to feel different I have some idea of how I want it to feel but whether or not I can get there of course it's gonna depend on my editing skills and my songwriting skills so somewhat less than adequate but we will see what we can do a bad feeling. Aching body parts is a good feeling. And if I know what's good for me, I'll be doing this a lot more often. <laughs> so, I know I've done a whole bunch of half-hearted cooking montages on this vlog before. I've always wanted to do something a bit more detailed one day. You know, where I actually, you know, run through and actually talk through even the whole process, you know, of preparing the food and everything. So I've decided that today is the day. Uh, we're going to do something a bit relatively fancy today. So we're going to do, we're going to be preparing steak and potatoes. So it's probably not going to go very well. Lots of things in cooking takes two hands. And uh, the camera, more often than not, needs at least one hand. So those are our ingredients, and we're gonna prepare everything by sticking them in the pan. Right. So the plan is to have these done in two batches. Right. We're gonna cook the steak and the tomatoes and the mushrooms together in one pan first. And after that, we're going to saute the potatoes and the benefit of that is that the potatoes will then be able to hopefully absorb some of that leftover steak glazings. Now some people like the potatoes kind of crunchy, but I prefer mine to be soft. So I'm actually going to pre-microwave these little babies. A little bit. Now we'll deal with the steak. Oof. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and season this. Salt, pepper, and a bit of garlic powder just because I have that. I'm gonna be generous with that seasoning. All of that on both sides of the steak. Because that's how I prefer it. Down a bit, over. 
put some oil on the pan. I will turn the heat up on high. It's get nice and hot. So we're gonna take the steak and then put it on the pan away from us. A nice sizzling. Mushroom. Mushroom. I'm gonna crush a bit of garlic as well. And chuck that in. A little bit of butter to go with it. I'm gonna season the mushrooms a bit. Salt. Pepper. So hot. A few liquid. Oh man. Might have been a bit overdone, but look at that sear. Mushrooms rub as well. Start taking out the steak. So you don't want that to stay in the pan for too long. A little overdone there, I'd say. We can kind of turn off the fire as well. Then we're gonna start thinking about the potatoes. So first of all, I wanna dice myself some garlic. I'm gonna clear the pan. So we can use it for the potatoes. Look at it in the meantime. Ooh. You know the lighting here is not even good. and grab the softened potatoes out of the microwave. Oh, the plate's kind of hot. Actually, I'll just, I'm just gonna dump this straight into the pan. So I got myself some herbs. You see that? Rosemary. I usually get parsley, but then they, they didn't have it this time, so I thought I'd try some rosemary. So I'm not completely sure what I'm doing here, but I guess I'm just gonna chop this one up. Actually, I'm thinking that I don't want the stems because the stems have a very strong smell, so maybe I'll just grab the leaves. I'm gonna turn up the heat on this, but not too much. Grab this stuff. Chuck everything in there, garlic and rosemary, all of it. Finish with a nice chunk of butter. Now we're gonna leave it to hopefully develop a nice crust. Actually, I was thinking I probably kind of overdid the rosemary. I'm gonna plate this in the meantime. Yeah, you see that nice crust on the potatoes? The steak is definitely a bit overdone there. It's got a little bit of a burnt taste to it, so. Um, even a not so well prepared steak is still delicious. So something very concerning happened last night. I spotted a cockroach in the kitchen. Really? Anyway, this means war.
So as you can probably see, it's raining quite heavily right now. So this week's sunset walk is cancelled. So this vlog is going to end more or less over here. I'll, I still need to go and get food, so I'll probably, you know, get some gratuitous rainy shots outside while I'm at it. And that's going to conclude this week. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again next week. ちなみに皆さんこのポップコーンバブルティーバブルティーポップコーンのこと気になってしょうがないんでしょうね大丈夫だ心配は無用俺が今レビューしてあげましょうなはい、発表しますねまずいです買わない方がいいです